with a prescription for antibiotics or maybe just some advice to take it easy. But how would you feel if you were prescribed art? Mm, well, it may sound less than scientific, but a new report by a parliamentary group suggests that the arts can play a significant role in physical and mental well-being. Here's Becky Williams. It's a different form of medication. Everyone here has been told to attend these art classes by their doctor. Some have had strokes, others suffer with chronic pain, whilst Elaine started painting to combat depression. I've got no confidence in myself. I rarely went out and I started to come here. I was very reluctant at first, but it was just wonderful doing something and kind of gagging the nag. You know, that's the, the awful thoughts that are going around in your head and by doing art, it actually stopped it happening because you were thinking of something else. Now clearly this arts group is helping people here in Wiltshire, but across the country there have been other initiatives, things like a library for homeless people in Manchester and in London, a dance group. And this report today is suggesting that a National Arts Wellbeing Centre is set up so so many more people can also benefit. The message to MPs will be that more classes like this will help meet the challenges facing social care and our ageing population. Some might say, with the NHS under pressure, that the money would be better spent elsewhere. Well, we have found that this kind of intervention, in fact, saves the NHS money. It's a holistic intervention that encourages people to socialise, that may be struggling to otherwise. It, it reduces isolation, reduces depression, um, and that's why it works so well, I think. In fact, research suggests that people using the Artlift project for a six-month period have 37% less demand for GP appointments their need for a hospital admission fell by 27%, which in total is a net saving of £216 per patient. And for Eva, it's music that's helped. She hit rock bottom after being sectioned under the Mental Health Act, but singing has helped her to rebuild her life. I got back into music at a time when I was very, very isolated, and it helped me make friends, it gave me a purpose, it gave me somewhere to go on the Thursday afternoon when we rehearsed and something to prepare for. So it gave me more structure to my week and it improved my confidence as well, definitely. Oh. And it might, might be less than that, it might be just two or three colours. Yeah. It's hoped that offering art classes on prescription will be supported by MPs. Today's report suggests that it won't just save the NHS money, but it will also help many to paint a brighter future for themselves. Rebecca Williams, Sky News in Malmesbury.